Some of you are working on an app that requires a calendar. Uh, you might be adding events or, or uh, looking at events and wanting to click on different dates in a calendar. And so that's a pretty challenging thing to uh, create. So this video will help you do that and uh, hopefully give you a good starting point. So uh, I'm going to run mine right now and then we'll kind of restart it from scratch. Uh, but right now I've got a calendar that allows me to have a drop down for the month a drop down for the year and then beneath that it shows the calendar itself right now you might want to put the date the days of the week up top here you know Sunday Monday Tuesday I just kinda did a quick grid um, but I want my calendar to do several things I want it to show the dates and they have to be in the right place right so uh, you know for instance today uh, is February 25th 2019 and it's a Monday so uh, that looks good, right? And that has to be accurate. And so we want to have all those features and then um, have the ability to click on the calendar and have it know what day we actually clicked on, what date. And so that's kind of what we're looking for. Uh, so let's do that from scratch and uh, the, this video will take us all the way through. Um, first thing I want you to notice is the widgets, right? We've got a drop down for the month, a drop down for the year, and then the actual calendar itself. Now, when we go to look at that calendar, we're drawing that calendar on a canvas. And so the first thing we're going to need um, to do is take that canvas and, and drag it over. I'm not going to go into actually building the interface. We'll leave that as it is. But you would drag this canvas over and make it um, an appropriate size, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then on the canvas, there's code to do all the drawing. Now, we're just drawing lines, right? So when we run this, we're drawing some lines. And then these numbers we'll get to later. Um, but what I want you to notice to start out with before we kind of blow away all my code and re recreate this is that when we're building this grid we have to make it have the right number of, of lines both vertically and horizontally so take a quick look right we know there's seven days of the week um, so you got seven columns but seven columns is gonna require eight lines right one two three four five six seven and eight for that last one so we want to keep that in mind also um, we've got the a similar situation with the the rows um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines for the rows, six, uh, six rows. You might ask, why do we need six rows? Well, some months, like, let's see, March here, uh, start late in the week and then end early in the week, and so we need that, that last row. Um, but, again, seven days require eight lines uh, across, and so we want to kind of keep that in mind as we're starting off. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, <clears throat> blow all this away. Bye bye, code. Oh no. All right, so we're just starting with our screen and the widgets that we have, and now we have no code attached to that. And I want to walk you through again the the creation of the uh, the calendar from scratch. And so let's start with just a drawing function. We're going to write a function that draws the actual lines of the calendar. So I'm going to call that draw calendar because that makes sense. I don't need any inputs for that at this point. We're just going to draw a calendar, okay? And again, I want to focus on the actual graphics here. We wanted to draw seven lines, excuse me, we want to draw eight lines vertically um, across the screen. And so eight vertical lines across the screen. So we're going to do that in a loop, okay? What I want to do is make sure that those lines are evenly spaced across the canvas. Since I want to draw uh, eight of them, we're going to kind of do that using a loop that um, starts at zero and goes up to, but not including, eight. Okay, now this loop variable, uh, doesn't matter what you name it, you might name it i, I'm using x to kind of remind myself that these are the x coordinates basically as I move across the screen, right? And I'm starting x at zero, I'm running while x is less than eight, and I'm adding one to x each time, uh, so X will take on the values 0 through 7, which are 8 items, right? So uh, what do I want to do? Well, 8 times I want to draw a line, right? And so you can see we've got this line function, and that's the function that we're going to use. And I need to give it coordinates, right? X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Well, now I have to pay attention to where should these lines be, okay? There are eight lines, but those eight lines break the, the canvas into seven columns. 
right? And so I need to make the width of my my canvas basically something that's divisible by seven, right? Now, if we look at my canvas, uh, go back to the design here. I drew it so that my width was 303, okay? Uh, quick math will show you that 303 is not actually divisible by seven, um, but that's gonna be okay. Um, we'll get to that in a sec. 300, what, 301, I believe, is divisible by seven? Okay, if you take 301 and you divide it by seven, you get 40, Three, I believe. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, 43. So the first line I want to draw is right on the edge, right when x is zero, right? That first that first line of the box. So I'm going to make x zero here, okay? And I want to start it at the top, which is where y is zero. So keep in mind the, the y coordinates increase as you go down. You can actually see that happening on my my mouse cursor here as I do that. Um, and then I want to keep my x coordinate the same, and I want my y coordinate to go all the way down to the bottom of the, the canvas, maybe. Uh, we'll do that. What is what is that going to be? So if I look at my canvas, the height is 315. So maybe I'll go down to 315 and see what that looks like. Okay. So I'm going to run this. Uh, but in order to run it, I have to actually call the function. So this just defines what draw calendar does. To use that function, I have to call it, which means I do this. Okay. So there's a difference between defining a function and then actually using the function. Um, if I define the function and I ran that, nothing would happen. Once I use it, it actually executes. So if we run this, um, oh, I forgot to activate my canvas. So we need to say set active canvas. The only canvas I have is canvas one. Okay. So I set my active canvas. Um, and then if I run it, hopefully I will see what I'm looking for. And I can see a line there, right? Now I just drew that line eight times essentially. So that's not what I wanted. I want to progressively draw the lines across the screen. So I don't want this to always be zero, right? I want it to be, I want it to start at zero, but then add 43 each time. So how can I do that? Well, the way I'm going to do that is realize that x is the number of times that I want to add my spacing, right? If, when x is 0, I don't want to add any spacing. I'm just draw that first line. But when x is 1, I want to have moved over 43 times, or 43 pixels, excuse me. When x is 2, I want to have moved over 43 two times. When x is 3, I want to have moved over 43 three times, etc. So my x value here for my line should actually be my variable x times the amount I want to move over each time, which is 43 in this case. Now, x2 is also that value, otherwise I'd be not drawing vertical lines, right? So if we run this, let's see what happens. Okay, great. Looks like I've drawn eight lines, and uh, we'll double check, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Except look at that first line, it looks thinner than the others. Well, the reason is the lines have a thickness and I'm drawing at zero, so half that line is actually off the screen a little bit, which is a little bit annoying. So I'm going to add one to this, right? That way I start one over, and so I get the whole line on there. And that's why I've made my width a little bit bigger on my canvas, a little bit bigger than 301. I made it one more on each side so that the lines would fit. And that's why you see the 303 on the width of the canvas. That looks a lot better. Now I've got eight lines of equal thickness evenly spaced across the screen. Okay, um, Analyze that. Make sure this bit of code makes sense to you because we're going to do the same exact thing, only horizontal lines in the y direction, right, for the, the uh, horizontal portion of the calendar. So I'm going to say for y equals 0, y less than, now in this case I only need seven lines, so I'm going to say y less than 7, um, y plus plus. Okay, I want to draw a line here as well. This time I want to start x at 0, and I want my y value to be y times 43 plus 1, and I want um, 
x to move all the way across the width of the canvas, right? So let's look. The width of my canvas is 300, whoop, is 303, right, which we said before. 303. Uh, and then the y value staying the same, y times 43 plus 1. Okay, let's go and run that and see what happens. Look at that. Great, now I've got a grid. Oh, I realize, hey, my, uh, my lines went a little longer than I needed them to. And so I can sort of think about how far down those lines should go um, based on where, where I am here. So uh, if I'm starting at zero, then that's zero. And then 43 times one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like uh, six times 43-ish um, is sort of the last where I want to stop there. So instead of going all the way down to 315, uh, what's 6 times 43? 248 maybe. Okay, if we run that, oh, we can see I went, I didn't go far enough. Um, 6 times, oh, 258, excuse me. That's why. There we go. See, that looks pretty good. Uh, now I've got a good, a good grid. And there's the, the, a big chunk of my calendar, right, is that grid. Um, let's stop there, and then I'll, in the next video, we will look at how we populate the calendar with the, with the numbers.